Oh, thank you for allowing me to snag a little bit of your time. I know it's a very uh, crucial event going on in your household, right? Yeah, I mean, this is great. I mean, we could be in the process, and literally, I might have to let you go. Yeah, I know. And like when I sent the email to you earlier, and I didn't get the respond right back, I was like, oh, man, I hope she's not like in labor right now, and I'm like bothering her <laughs> about this damn interview. Oh, okay. Yeah, mama naps are definitely needed. Yeah, you know. So, um, do you have any other kids or? No, this is my first first one. This is the first one. Okay, cool. So, yeah. all right, that makes uh, that makes it a little easier then, um, because you're you, at least you don't have like a bunch of other minions running around the house while you're going through the mommy time. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Maybe one day, but not not right now. Okay. I'll hold. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about service, um, which is a short that you starred in. And we were able to see this at Horror Hound Weekend. And uh, Jerry actually reached out to us after the fact because we actually walked in at the end of the screening because it was just like, yeah, you know, when you're trying to cover three days with just two people, you get some long nights. You know what I mean? Uh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, so luckily for us, he had reached out to me on Facebook and was able to send us the full screener and we watched it and reviewed it and we loved it. And that's what we're here to talk about. Fantastic. Okay. So first and foremost, just to get this out of the way, you are the artist formerly known as the woman who got Shia LeBeau naked, correct? Yes, I, I believe that was one of the titles for a review. Yes, I am. Dancer. Okay, you are that dancer. So that is where your career stems from, is from dancing? Correct, yeah. I've been a professional dancer in L.A. for about eight years now. Okay. But that was, the, that was the biggest one that kind of went around town. Okay. So how did you, yeah. how did you, um, or are you originally from L.A., or are you from somewhere else like everyone else that lives in L.A.? I am like everyone else. <laughs> I'm not from Los Angeles. I come from a small town called Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. Uh, from there... Go Cornhuskers, huh? Oh, my God. Thank you, Go Cornhuskers, except I'm kind of mad at them. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are. <laughs> yeah, so... What, what, what happened to the black shirt defense? defense? I mean, like, seriously. Dude, but, dude I <laughs> can't even talk to you about it. It's going to get me a little frustrated, but... For sure, for sure. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so I come from Nebraska, studied dance, you know, since I've been out of the womb. Um, later, I went to go receive my Bachelor of Arts at Colorado State okay. with a concentration in dance. Then from there, I auditioned to be a part of a dance company called Hysterica in L.A., and I moved out here in 2007. And I've been, you know, back up dancing ever since, you know. Um, uh, some of the people I've worked with uh, are Madonna, David Bowie. Nice. Kanye West, yeah. So then from there, I, I really wanted to uh, get into the acting the acting gig. And I think that the Shia, Shia's video that I did with him, Seeker Rose video, I think that really helped me get an understanding of that and then I met Jerry and we started service. Okay. So yeah. in a sense the dancing is what propelled you to kind of venture into the acting world. Um were there any people that you can kind of say you were thinking like, hey, if that person can do it, I know I can do it. Like is there any films or anything that stuck out to you that really kinda of worked that bug up even more than the videos? Okay. And I find her to be the most obscure, uh, mysterious individual when she acts. Uh, so I really, really look up to Tilda Swinton. Um, but I also think that being in the dance world, you're, you're, 
you're kind of taught that, you, well, we need to emote. And so you learn how to create all these feelings when you're dancing, and a lot of it is, is really for it. Mm-hmm. But I'm trying to find the realistic approach, and that's kind of what I've been known to do in the dance world. So I, I think that all of that training and, and you know focusing on the body and internal emotions and kind of feeling in that sense, I think it can be really relatable into the acting world. So I'm trying to crisscross over, but as far as dancers, you know, like Channing Tatum was a dancer, mm-hmm. and then she went into acting, and then uh, Jennifer Lopez was a dancer, and mm-hmm. she, she went in to do Selena. But, um, Even so uh, Jada Pinkett Smith was a dancer, I believe, too. Yeah, yeah, see, so there's definitely, there's definitely people that can make it happen. I, I want to go in the more... Um, maybe art housey way, but I don't know. I really want to experiment. Like T- Tilda Swinton is definitely a for sure uh, icon for me. Right okay, now. okay. So was it like an attraction towards horror films in general that you had also, or was it just kind of hey, I just want to get my foot in the door um, any way that I possibly could, or were you kind of gauging yourself towards doing some horror stuff? Okay. I I understand that if you if you want to maybe be an actress, maybe you think that you have to do everything that everyone sends you on and whatnot. But I don't like to do that because I, I I think that acting somewhat has to stay true to the self. Yeah. Um, oh, thank.